Hey gang, Wes Buck here, Drag Illustrated Magazine, checking in with living legends. I can't believe I'm here standing here talking to my, my, one of my heroes, Shannon the Iceman Jenkins. I still get excited every time I put it in my phone. It's programmed Iceman. I don't even have it say Shannon or Jenkins, just Iceman. So, uh, and the one and only Sonny Leonard. Um, hey guys, that was a hell of a first round of racing in Pro Mod. I mean, probably one of the better rounds we've seen in a long time. A lot of side-by-side -side runs. Um, you guys got a relatively new program, making some big strides. Like I said, a 581, you feel good? Oh yeah, we feel great. You know, we, uh, we've been working really hard, as well as funny on these engines. And, you know, we uh, finally started to get our act together, but everything's been coming together really good. It's, uh, we were just talking about it. Over here, you guys run a 903 inch Sunny's engine. Um, it's smaller than what they run in the PDRA and Correct. the, the yeah. Outlaw stuff, Correct. but um, clearly making some steam. That was a that was the best speed ever for for Mike, wasn't it? Career yeah. best speed. Yeah. Two forty seven, forty seven, or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah great speed. Great speed. So, I mean, how do you feel about? I mean, obviously the engine program, Sonny. I mean, what do you think of these big nitrous motors? Well, in use of the big engine was what, like forty years. That was kind of what we saw that for years ago. Large people against pro stocks. Large is kind of my middle name. <laughs> it was dumb for engines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I enjoy it. I enjoy working with people in Shannon's caliber. And, it, and my cost, I don't know if you can he can really take a lot of pressure. He's a damn good driver. You know, we got a lot of things we've got to try. You know, the only thing is. About what we're doing, or it's like anything in life, you uh, you're satisfied for on, on performance that lasts for about five minutes, <laughs> <laughs> and then you've got to keep going. I mean, my, I, I know my wife and kids and guys that work for me. You know, I love my engine on the dyno and it's 15 horsepower. Oh my God, I'm happy. Right. For, for five minutes, and then we got to get going. Right. These guys, the same way. You know? But it's just, I enjoy work with these guys because they'll try anything. So, <laughs> you know, I'm that, having all fine. Shannon's long-time yeah. try-anything type of guy. Oh, yeah. yeah, without a doubt. You know, this, you know, it's all about innovation. You know, everybody's got really good engines, you know. And well, we have uh, another thing. That we're fortunate, you know, we have some CNC. Uh, machine in house and then engineers and programmers and programmers is really important when you make the film ahead. And it is it's good to have people of that caliber working for you. And uh, I got some guys, I think eight of them have been with me over 20 years. So that means a lot. You oh, know, yeah. If you go somewhere, you know damn well you're going to have a good product when you get done. And you guys are clearly making a statement out here. I mean, Whale, whale of a run, um, and just kind of getting back to where everybody's accustomed to seeing you guys running at the front, top of the pack, top of the sheet, and, but this deal, I mean, have you recognized, like, it wasn't that long ago, we didn't have that, we didn't have a full field out here, right. we didn't have, we were hoping for 16 or 18 cars, now there's 30 cars here that are all badass. Yeah, that's exactly right, you got all combinations that's really badass, you only not just have one, you got the right. turbo guys that you just think fly. Right. You got some good running nitrous cars, you got some good running supercharged cars as well. Very, very competitive. It is. It's it uh you know, we just gotta keep working and we will. You know, we uh we starting to get back in our stride finally. And uh funny he, he's relentless. I'm on him all the time about making more horsepower, you heard it. <laughs> uh, and we're looking at some different things down the road, which I'm sure will come better. But, Does it is it still and I don't wanna let this go too long guys, but whenever you have these two here, is it is it about putting more, finding ways to put more nitrous to it? I mean, there for a while it was about making them run yeah. without nitrous yeah. and making a lot of power, kind of the pro stock approach and maybe using less nitrous, yeah. but it seems like you're pouring the coals to them now making a nitrous what, specific engine. What it is, it's, it's a, a battleground between making as much typical horsepower as you can, oh. as you can make with a, you know, with a right. normally aspirated engine, then you inject nitrous oxide, but on the same token, it has to be somewhat nitrous friendly, so sunny. You know, they build the engine around the amount of stupid sewing pressure the engine builds and all the nitrous on it. And it's, uh, so it's a give and take. You, you try to get 
try to give it, get it as much as you can, but you've got to take it back a little bit. So it's Absolutely. just like uh, you can make a lot of outflow. We can make a lot of outflow in, them, in a lot of mice. And uh, you can get it in, but you got to get it out. Yeah. Right. That is very important, the timing on how to get it out. Look at top fuel. You know, yeah. if they don't get it out on time, what's going to happen? It's going to go back to the intake level and blow the blow up. Okay. Yep. Down. So, but the exhaust is very, very, very important. It doesn't matter what category. That's the amazing. Key, key is getting it out. You get it in, getting it out on time. On time. Well, hey, speaking of on time, just like these guys tonight, congratulations on a hell of a hell of a first round, and we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. Very hey, much. thank you guys. Yeah. Right. See you. Stay tuned. Drag Illustrated all weekend.